everyone. This is Dr. Megan Bunning with FSU Coach Interdisciplinary Center at Florida State University. And I'm here with Figure It Out Baseball. This video is hitting on the second part of a previous video I did on the first part of a habit. So if you haven't watched Habits Part 1, then go back and watch that video pretty quickly because this is the follow-up to that video. So the second part, so we talked about in that first video what procrastination is and kind of examining if you're procrastinating doing something, an event or task, maybe it's practice. And then there's the second part of a habit. And so the first part of that habit is there is a cue or a trigger that's going on in your environment that is triggering you to behave in the way that maybe you want to change or you want to alter. So if that is for you, you don't want to practice and so you keep putting it off. What is going around you that is triggering you to, to not practice, right? So what is a cue? It could be an event. It could be some body. Uh, it could be how you feel. And remember that that procrastination from video on the first part is that discomfort receptor in your brain. And that discomfort is, is helping you to avoid going out to practice. So in that first part of the video, I explained to you that my habit that I could change would be getting more work done in the evenings after I've made dinner. And the what I explained to you is that I make dinner, everyone has come home, I've been working most of the day, I get up pretty early to make up for the lost time at night. But by the time my toddler goes to bed, she's almost three, I am ready to go to bed. And so I, it's still early in the evening, I finish dinner, I clean up, and I go lay in my bed and I Netflix and chill. And that is what is called my routine. It's almost, it's consistent. So my trigger is when my toddler finally goes to bed that night and I finish dinner, there is a distinct routine for me and I need to, to kick that habit or to change it. I need to pay attention to what I'm doing after I figure out what my trigger is. So this is step two. Step one, my trigger for me is my toddler going to bed and I clean up after dinner. Step two is I'm paying attention to what routine I'm following. When that happens, I clean up. I go change clothes, I lay on top of my bed, I pull my blanket up over me and I turn on Netflix and I'll watch two or three shows on Netflix. Now, otherwise that could be time when I could get just even a little bit more work done because what I have to do is I have to then get up early, early the next morning. So when you're thinking about what it is that you want to change, first go to step one and identify what is triggering you? What is your cue? And then pay attention to the routine that you're following after because the routine is going to be extremely important. That's where you're really going to hit your change. If you're going to try to change a habit, you've got to figure out what's triggering you so you can be aware. And then you've got to work to change whatever routine it is that you're following. So in my situation, I would have to, I know what my trigger is, I would have to do something, even a little thing, just to shake my routine up to get myself out of that habit. But, and I'll talk, I'll put this in, in the fourth video, I'll put it all together with my personal um, behavior that I would like to change and what that shake up in my routine could look like. But there are some other things that we've got to talk about because you can't just, if you just shake your routine up, without thinking about steps, parts three and four of a habit that we're going to cover, then it may not uh, last for you, your shakeup. So just to reiterate, part one, we talked about the first part of a habit, this cue or this trigger that's triggering this procrastination, this, this behavior that you're trying to avoid. Part two is paying attention to there's this trigger, you're avoiding practice, you're avoiding doing more work, whatever it is, what routine are you getting yourself into? Pay attention to your routine. In the next video, step or part three, we're going to talk about something called the reward and then we'll finish with the fourth part called the belief. Just to recap, in this video we covered part two about what is my routine after my trigger? What am I doing after I'm triggered to avoid this behavior so that I can pay attention to how to change that? Catch part three and four for the rest of what goes into a habit. I'm Dr. Megan Bunning with FSU Coach.